John Cricky with John Neighbor back at Olympic swimming and ready for yet another gold medal event. Paul Darney and Wharton. The men's 400 meter individual medley. There is David Wharton, 19 years old from Philadelphia and the University of Southern California. Thomas Darney, right next to him, he is the man to beat. He is the world record holder. Actually, David Wharton in the summer of 87 had the world record, but only for five days. Then Darney broke it at the European Championships. It stood since. The Olympic record held by Thomas Darney in qualifying. And David Wharton's, what was a world record, still stands as an American record. And here is the field and his all-star in quality. Lane one from West Germany, Peter Bermel. Lane two from Hungary, Joseph Zabo. Lane three, a very aggressive, tough swimmer from Italy, Stefano Battistelli, 18 years old. In lane four, the best ever in this event, Thomas Darney of Hungary. Lane five from East Germany, watch him, Patrick Kuhl. Lane six, David Wharton of the USA. Peter Burt, who defected from East Germany to the U.S., now swimming for West Germany, is in lane seven. Luca Saki of Italy is in lane eight. You almost could have seen that one coming, Don. There's so much tension here. A lot of attention is being placed on this great matchup. This is the start to two athletes. The one to watch is lane five, Tomas Darny. Okay, here's the guy right here. And he's going to start leaning forward, anticipating the start. Into the pool. Now, once one guy goes, the rest of the field follows. That's only natural because the false start is charged to the field. There's David Wharton, who was the fourth fastest qualifier, but his coaches were very pleased with his time. They said he never swam a hard stroke in the qualifier. He was in, under control all the way. Darney, who has that very intense training, has come back from three laser operations on his left eye, in which he is almost totally blind, hit by a snowball. This is Pedro Dominguez from Spain. He is the official in this contest. At the foot of his platform is a strobe light. That strobe light will flash, and also the horn will sound so that people with hearing or uh, sight disability will be able to. Gordon, of course, is almost totally deaf, the American swimmer. After one false start, they're set now for the men's 400 IM. Yes, all four strokes. They begin with the butterfly, go to the backstroke, then 100 yards of breaststroking. They come home with the fastest stroke, the freestyle. I don't know what the problem is. I think there's an official monitoring something down at lane eight. Lane eight is making an equipment change. It looks like John Lucas Saki might be changing his goggles. Boy, the tension is so thick you can cut it with a knife. Hey, you can't blame him for getting ready. There's thousands and thousands of miles of hard practice going into this moment. 2,000 miles the gold. a year. A swimmer swims once around the equator, the equivalent of once around the equator every four years. They're away. This start is a good one as they come out in the second fastest stroke in swimming the butterfly. And out very quickly is David Wharton of the USA. Yeah, very good underwater dolphin kick off the start. Propelled him about six, uh, 12 inches in the lead on the first stroke. Here's how the race breaks down. Go out as you see in the butterfly. Then the backstroke for 100 meters. The breast stroke, which is the slowest stroke. And then the freestyle as they take it home for the medals. David Wharton goes at the first turn in the lead. He is swimming in lane six lane. He's six down from the top of your screen. Patrick Kuhl of East Germany swimming well in lane five next to him. Wharton gave up the lead coming into the turn. He's trying to reassert himself coming off the turn. Kuhl from East Germany reflects his name. He is a real cool competitor. He has to be very strong in the backstroke, very strong in the fly as well. So his part of this race is pretty well behind him. Wharton looks good. So does Darnie, swimming very much under control. He makes the turn here at the moment. They're faster than a full second ahead. Way ahead of world record time. David Wharton told us before the race, the area of it, he looks at the most critical point. I think the, the last leg of the freestyle, uh, I think it's going to be where who wants it the most is really going to be driving for it at the end. How bad do you want it? I want it pretty bad. The whole focus of his career has been on winning this. Darnie swimming very well with the backstroke, which is one of his best strokes. And that is Darnie, who has taken the lead. The world record holder from Hungary as they complete the backstroke leg. That's okay, Don, because there's four different strokes. The lead could change four different times. 
Warden is strong in the backstroke. Warden is better breaststroker. So Warden's got to come on from behind. And as he said in his uh, little interview there, he thinks the freestyle is most critical. At the crew of East Germany, swimming next to Darnie in lane five, and David Warden are about second now as they make the turn and go to the boy. They are shattering, shattering this world record pace. They can keep up the freestyle leg. They'll be doing real well. This is Warden's chance to catch the leader. He's going to do it through a rapid turnover. David Warden right now is swimming just third behind Pool of East Germany. Darnie, who had an excellent backstroke leg, has taken the lead now. Pool looks good in the breaststroke as well. He's undulating his body to get the absolute most out of every stroke and kick. Now they come to the wall on this turn with 150 meters to swim in the race, the 400 IM. I'm afraid Warden looks tired. He's fading a bit, it seems to me. And it looks like Darnie has kicked in with something extra. Thomas Darnie, 21 years old, from Budapest, Hungary. The world record holder extends his lead over Kuhl of East Germany, and David Warden falling a bit off the pace now. Warden's, Warden's taking shorter strokes. He's not able to stretch and stay long. He's tightening up. This is Darnie. Look how his hands come out of the water on the recovery. He throws them forward out of the water. See them piercing the water? That's a new rule change. It's been allowed now, and it shows a lot of stamina. Oh, boy. Under the world record split, and by 20, as now they go to the final leg, 100 meters of freestyling. Another Hungarian swimmer starting to come out, and Joseph Zabo in lane two. And right now, he is running second to his countryman, Thomas Darny, who at the moment is blowing away the field. The world record holder who could be en route to shattering that mark today, going for Olympic gold. David Wart is now kicking in well for the USA, as he challenges, but with 50 meters to swim, Darnie makes the turn and hits for home and goal. Darnie, not to be challenged, it's for silver now. They're all running for second place. As Darnie, in one of the great exhibitions in Olympic history, is en route in all probability to a world record. No question about it. Warden went out too fast in the front half of his race. He's charging well in the freestyle, though. Five meters to swim. You see the time he has to come under. Darnie goes to the wall. That sets a world record in doing it. A fantastic swim. Absolutely stellar. Humongously. 14.1 minute, 14.6 seconds on the breaststroke leg. He shattered that record. Was all alone. One very tough competitor. No competition. He did it internally from the very start. Fabulous swim. And he do doesn't even look exhausted. I'm exhausted watching him. The second finisher was David Wharton of the USA, so he gets silver. The third was the young Italian, Battistelli, who came out in the closing meters to finish third. David Wharton down here is currently in second place with about 40 meters to go all alone. Darnie with no competition, nothing to look at but the wall in front of him. Wharton did increase his lead for the second place, so maybe he wasn't as tired as I was saying, but he sure came on strong with a good freestyle. Clearly, a world record performance without real competition. Darnie won. Wharton to the USA 2, Battistelli of Italy 3rd, Zabo, who started to close, then lost a little bit, finished fourth, another Hungarian swimmer. You know, I love those little winks, those little nods from the competitors. At the Olympic level, you can't say, well, I'll see you next year. At the Olympics, it's, <laughs> that's a great swim. So we have a world record at the pool, an Olympic gold for Thomas Darny of Hungary. We'll be back with more swimming gold medal events, but now back to Bryant Gumbel. All right, Don, thanks very much. We will, of course, be back with more swimming. Thomas Darney blowing away the field of 400 IM. We're going to return to Seoul in our coverage of the games of the 24th Olympiad right after this. Back at the Olympic pool, Thomas Darney of Hungary, a world record in taking gold in the 400 IM. He also holds the world record in the 200 IM. American David Wharton wins silver. Stefano Battistelli of Italy finishes third for the bronze. Now let's go to poolside and to Armin Katayan. Thanks, Don. First of all, David, reaction to your swim. Did you feel comfortable in the water? Yes, I did. I felt very comfortable. More relaxed today than I did yesterday. What about Darnie's swim, an absolute brilliant swim on, on his the world record. Did you feel that he was capable of something like that? 
Yes, I did. Um, he did a great job. That's what the Olympics are all about. It's going to bring out the best in each athlete, and it certainly did in him. What about your stroke now? In the breaststroke, you seemed to tire. You had talked about before the last 100 was going to make the difference, but it appeared that the breaststroke made the difference in the race. Um, I haven't had a chance to look back over it, but my backstroke leg kind of wore me out a little bit, I think, going into the breaststroke. All right, Don, back to you. So David Wharton did very well indeed, winning silver, but no one could contend with Thomas Darney of Hungary today with his world record gold medal win. Now back to Bryant Gumbel, Bryant. All right, Don, thank you. We'll be getting back to you shortly. We've got more swimming to come, but we want to tell you, we had noted that uh, Thomas Darney was blind in one eye. We should tell you that, it, that his blindness is the result of getting hit by a flying snowball in his eye when he was a child. It caused enough damage, the eye slowly deteriorated to the point where the retina had split. He still can sense light in that eye, and he does not risk further damage by swimming, but yes, he is legally blind in one eye. Let's turn our attention now to the equestrian